Hi, this is Jackie Murray with Ask a Tech Teacher. I'm your guide through these 32 lessons in the Structured Learning Technology Curriculum. We're in Lesson 28. This is Kindergarten. This is the fourth of the four drawings projects students will do for the end of year show, their open house or whatever you have at the end of the year to um, exclaim over how great the projects the students do are. So this is about their town. Now we've discussed this before, but you don't have to do these four slideshows on the topics picked in here. What you want to do is follow the idea of the lesson, but you may pick another topic of your own. You might pick your favorite pet or something like that instead of my town. But the idea of all four of these projects, including this one, is that students use tools they know how to use, that they learned this year. You're not reteaching. They may um, pull from memory. They may watch a neighbor do it. They may ask a neighbor for help. But you're not going to reteach. If they can't remember how to do part of the project, like put text on or um, what else are we doing in here? put text, put stickers, do those um, natural fills, then they, they won't do them. And that's perfectly fine. It'll look more like this one maybe. But that's fine. It's an idea. The idea is that they're showing what they've learned this year. So no new vocabulary, problem solving skills, essential question, big idea. They're all pretty much the same as they were for the previous three. So let students know their topic and then let them loose to do this. Give them the whole class, or if this is how you're doing it, you can have them practice this week and then do the project next week. Saving it to their digital portfolios, not printing, not sharing it out with anyone. This is a surprise for parents or whoever comes to their open house. So um, it, it, you may be doing this as a slideshow. You may do it as a digital storybook. Here's examples of what you might do in the digital storybook. These students will need to be familiar with whichever of these you pick. So get yourself familiar with these so they know. If you're going to do it as a digital storybook, uh, which is a little more time requirement, a little more um, it, it, uh, deeper digging deeper into tech skills than if they're just showing pictures that run as a slideshow. Leave it up to you. We'll talk about that in a week or so. But just so you know, these are some of the tools. You might want to look at these and see which one suits you best. Have students, before they leave, verify that their neighbor saved the drawing in the right place because they need these for the slideshow. If they get done early, have them practice their keyboarding, remembering where keys are. And here's a couple other things they can work on. That's really about it. All right, let's see if there's anything in the student workbook they would use. There is, that's right. So if they're using, if you have student workbooks, if they're going to be using a picture and then putting stickers on it, you might have set aside file folders full of stickers that they, they would use. Like this is out of nature. So you might have a whole collection of nature images, GIFs that they can use. Great way to have them want to figure out how to use file folders. So they're here as an example so students know what to look for. Here's some examples. You can grab these if you want and put them in your file folders. They're not GIFs in here. This one is a really cool GIF if you get it off the Ask a Tech Teacher blog under GIFs. It's a really, actually I think all of these are GIFs. So that's really nice. But otherwise, just grab them as pictures. That's really about it. All right, guys. Let me know if you have questions. I'm happy to help you. If you want some help with um, setting up the file folders with images in them, I'm happy to do that. Just let me know you're going to come to office hours Sundays, and I'll show up and show you how to do it. All right, guys. Have a great week. I'll see you in a week. Bye.